You know, when you watch a movie and the beginning is an elephant pooping, and that is the least of the crazy things that happen in this movie, uh, you're in for a ride. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Movie Important's movie review of Babylon, the newest film from director Damien Chazelle. So this three-hour, nine-minute film directed by, uh, of course, Damien Chazelle is a love letter, a condemning, whatever you want to call it, of Hollywood or even the golden age of Hollywood, which this movie takes place in the roaring 20s, and kind of how Hollywood and the Hollywood system works on a crazy, insane, drug-filled uh, kind of uh, quest, I guess you could say, in a lot of respects. And it, of course, has the three main leads. It has Margot Robbie, who plays Natalie Leroy. It, of course, has Brad Pitt, who plays Jack Conrad. And it has, of course, uh, Diego Calva, who plays Manny Torres, who are the individuals who come from, like, different forms of the Hollywood system. One, of course, is Jack Conrad, who's probably currently the, the, lead, the lead star in the silent era, who's having to face, of course, the sound era coming up and his effect. Of course, Natalie Leroy, who's, like, the current hot person in uh, Hollywood who of course as we learn you know goes where she goes and then of course Manny Torres who's kind of the outsider who finds his way into the Hollywood system that he's always loved and on top of that there's a crap ton of people that wanted to be in this Damien Chazelle movie which include people like Lucas Haas and you know Tobey Maguire and Gene Smart and just everyone you can imagine flees in this movie from the Red Hot Chili Peppers uh, Spike Jones is in this movie he just there's a who's who's list of Hollywood and musicians in this movie and and it basically boils down to that it's a movie that shows kind of the ugly side as well as, you know, what we want to truly believe the Hollywood world is like. And so that's what this movie is entailing. So this movie is interesting because it has got garnered a very mixed response. Uh, I, I'll definitely tell you why. I can definitely see why. It's a movie that I know is on either spectrum. You're really going to like it or you're really going to hate it. But I know Damien Chazelle and I know him really well. He is a guy who's very expressive when it comes to his storytelling. He uses a lot of interesting camera tricks, a lot of interesting camera movements, a lot of interesting cinematography. He uses music in a very storytelling aspect he's an individual that is just different he's like Baz Luhrmann in a lot of ways where he has a very expressive way of doing things that is unlike a lot of Hollywood you know you have your Steven Spielbergs and Christopher Nolans and then you have your Damien Giselles who just he just has a very unique talent behind him and you look at stuff like Whiplash you look at stuff like La La Land there are different forms of the music medium that is told in a very stylized fashion and then you go to like First Man which is a much different film for Damien Giselle but also has that very kinetic very granular type of Hollywood system type movie and so here we are with Babylon which is not surprising that he wanted to make a movie like this what is surprising is that it's three hours and nine, nine minutes and it has garnered, garnered the reviews that it has garnered because it has like a great cast of like Oscar contenders and Oscar winners the question remains is this movie worth watching is it worth three hours and nine minutes of your time which is rivalry rivalry uh, of course Avatar The Way of Water which is like three hours and 15 minutes and for my honest opinion for this movie what did I think personally um, it's definitely not worth three hours and nine minutes it definitely could have been cut down but this movie is an experience it's a drug out trip i told someone in a text i said this is like taking five thousand speed balls living through the living through the ordeal and still finding a way to die at the end and it's a movie that really is focused on giving you that experience that movie going experience that is sorely lacking in a lot of movies these days a lot of it's just big hollywood big budget movies but this is a movie that shows you kind of the darker side nature of that experience and what these people go through in that world you see a, a group of individuals that were you know at the height of their power then you see kind of the fall of grace kind of like babylon in a lot of ways where the individuals are i, I want to say they are like in the mecca they're finally made it to the the place of the world the, the place that everybody loves you know it makes a lot of money and it kind of eats them up and chews them up and spits them out it's like a lot of hollywood even today it's the same kind of grinding same kind of cog in the wheel it's just there's so much that he's trying to portray in this movie that really kind of comes through and there's a lot of great scenes including one where they first do a scene with margot robbie in sound that is absolutely delivers on what the chaos and chaotic nature is of a transition but also the chaotic chaotic nature of what it's like to be in this world when it starts to kind of slowly eat at you and stuff like that you can see like with the drug use you can see with the party you can just see it with the overall energy nature of how it ruins a lot of people and that's what makes this movie so brilliant the problem though with this movie is what kind of made it like leave my top 10 and even on 
honorable mention is it's so exhausting and so exhaustive in its kind of nature of how it wants to keep you so by the so by the tail when tails of your you know your collar and stuff like that how it never wants to let you go how it never wants to kind of let you breathe that you slowly start to realize that you're kind of like you're kind of getting fatigued with this movie and that becomes a huge problem because it's a movie that you need to be invested for three hours and nine minutes and i i just i I don't think i was invested the whole time it gets to a point especially in the last 45 minutes where i'm just like this movie needs to end it needs to stop it needs to let me breathe at some point i know that's not what his his purpose in doing a movie like this it's just you 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 sit there and you go like i i get it i i get what you're doing i understand i understand you're trying to show the darkness of hollywood system and the hollywood world but there, it just it just feels like there's nothing like good that comes out of this movie, and I just I felt that was a huge problem. And it's nothing of like the cinematographer who's lying in sun grass. It's nothing of the music. It's nothing of Damien Chazelle's direction. It's just I think when you let him now that he's able to kind of do whatever he wants, there's no allowing the holding back. You know, they're allowing Damien Chazelle to just do kind of whatever he wants, and it is a little it, you could kind of see the little mechanizations as kind of the problematic material that starts to kind of show in a movie like this because like i said if it were toned down to like two and a half hours i think it could have been a much much better film but when it gets near the end and the things start unraveling and things start happening it's just like i was like oh my god i love the first two thirds of this movie but it's just like it's too much it's so much it's just you, you feel like you're just you feel like there's so much good there that you you want to love this movie but you feel like it just it's oh man it's it's hard it's hard to like say that this movie's terrible because it's not because it's well shot and it's very slick and it's you know production value and stuff like that it's very beautiful it will probably get an oscar nomination for one of these actors or maybe all of them i said you know brad pitt's fantastic as he usually is margot robbie's fantastic i even think gene smart is fantastic is very oscar worthy diego calva who's an upcoming actor is very good in this movie oscar worthy as well and like i said you got a bunch of you know smaller characters from big actors and i just it just it's so much movie it really is three hours nine minutes is this movie shouldn't have been and you know i i I say that movie should be however long it should be but maybe maybe tone it down a little bit damien giselle that's all i'm gonna say i i love your films i think la la land's a great movie i think like i said whiplash is one of the 10 best movies of the last decade 20 of the 2000s uh Man, this is this is a this is an experience. Like I said, you need a lot of drugs to watch this movie, or it makes you feel like you're taking a lot of drugs. So, but with that kind of negativity out of the way, it's still an interesting watch. It will be on Paramount Plus, I'm sure, in the next couple of months. It has great performances. Uh, like I said, uh, Jovan Adepo's in this is a, uh, a trumpet player who's really good. There's so much stuff that could have been taken out of this movie. So much kind of condensed down where I feel like it could have been like a much better movie than it really is. So in the end, it's an experience. It's a hard experience to get through sometimes, but it is definitely something that shows you how good Damien Chazelle can be if he is contained in a lot of respects. So I do give him credit. Music's good. Cinematography's good. It's just a little more than I needed. So anyways, with that said, that's going to be my take on Babylon. Thank you so much for watching. Comments below, as I always say, let me know what you think if you've seen this movie. If you have not seen this movie, are you looking forward to it? All that good stuff. Otherwise, if you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome. Hit that like button and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.